Hey, what's happening, y'all? It's your man, D-Real, and entertainment is still what I do. And it's Wednesday, so y'all know what it is, right? We still on that. We still on this right here. And I'm going to tell you why, because I feel like the MCU is, is weakening characters versus strengthening some of them. What am I talking about? I'm going to tell you if you give me a chance. Let's be real with d -Rail. <laughs> Hello and welcome. It's your man, d -Rail. Welcome to Be Real with d -Rail, where entertainment is what I do. Today is Wednesday. So, of course, as always, on Wednesday, you get a recast of Chala themed video and you will continue to get recast T'Challa themed videos until T'Challa is recast. See how simple that works. Now I was thinking the other day and I know I, I, I try I try I try I'm not always successful I try not to let the conspiracy theory come out in me and before I go there let me just say real quick Comment, like, subscribe to the Be Real with D Real page so that you can get alerts when new videos and information comes out. If you're digging what a brother's shoveling, put some dirt in my bucket. Okay. Like I was saying, trying not to let my conspiracy theory go wild, but I'm sitting here and out of nowhere, the hope comes to mind, thinking about the hope. And I'm saying to myself, how has the hope been treated in the Marvel Universe? We got that universal version of the Incredible Hulk, which kind of attached to the MCU, but, but, but the movie wasn't lauded as anything special. It was just sort of MCU connective material, if you will. And we would think to ourselves, okay, this is Hulk, the Hulk, one of the most powerful beings in the Marvel Universe. And I would think we would like his story fleshed out a little bit. We would want to say a little something about him. Okay, we know what Hulk is known for. Hulk's known for smashing. All right. Enter Infinity War, which a lot of every day are still pissed off at that opening sequence where Thanos handily dispatches the Hulk and sends him into like some kind of superhero PTSD. And from that point on, Hulk stays in school grub mode for the rest of the saga. Say I, it, but facts is facts. I hate to bring this up after about two, three years, but facts is facts. MCU, you punking the hell out of the Incredible Hulk. And then I'll go even further. The one moment he did have to shine or where he could have shined more than he did was, you know, during the time when he put on the, the Tony Stark Infinity Gauntlet and did the snap. Now he's got a messed up arm that can't heal. Incredible, huh? The Incredible Hulk. Okay. The Incredible Hulk has a permanent injury that won't heal because we looked at him in uh, uh, Shang-Chi and, and Legend of the Ten Rings in the, in the uh, end credit scene. And he still got a cast on. Why did why does the Incredible Hulk still have a cast on? Why did he have a cast on at the end of Endgame? Incredible Hulk, the Incredible Hulk, who has one of the most powerful healing factors in the Marvel Universe. The Incredible Hulk's healing factor is on a par with Wolverines and Deadpool's in terms of potency and, and, and virility. You telling me my man couldn't. And then on top of that, on top of that, did we not say 
in the movie, oh, there is some gamma radiation in there. Pardon me again. Does not gamma radiation bolster, increase the strength of the Hulk? Why he didn't get stronger? Why he can't get rid of that little sick looking arm that he got? I, I don't get that part. I don't understand that part. Now, weakening of the Hulk. Meanwhile, Tony Stark gets the shine. Tony Stark and Infinity War held his own against Thanos better than the Incredible Hulk did, and Thanos had two Infinity Stones to fight with. Excuse me, three Infinity Stones to fight with. So you telling me Iron Man is better than the Hulk? Yeah, in the MCU. You know, Thor even gets to shine a little bit. You know, not too much, though. Captain America perhaps got the greatest shine of all in, 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 in game when he took on Thanos solo and held his own. Swell, of course, with the help of Mjolnir. But what I'm getting at is this. Why would you do what you did to the Hulk and leave it that way? Oh, enter the T'Challa situation. And then we see how T'Challa gets treated cinematically and we can kind of understand that there are some characters where we feel like, eh, I ain't got to worry about him. Versus, oh, he's the best thing since sliced bread. We need to give him some airplay. You know, and I've said it before in previous videos. Iron Man, Tony Stark, got a three-story arc. Captain America, Steve Rogers, Got a three-story arc. Thor Odin's son got a three-story arc. Where's our three-story arc for the Hulk? And then we ain't even gonna talk about where our three-story arc is for T'Challa with all of this rigmarole and setbacks and 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 things going on with filming now. But you probably won't get a three-story arc for T'Challa if you get one at all until like 2029 or something. You know, the way they're pushing things back. And how does this bode for Blade and Mahershala Ali in the MCU? What, how, is, how is that going to look? How is that going to pan out? Are we going to give him a fair shake or is it just going to be, oh, well, one and done. Blade isn't important enough for us to warrant doing anything beyond introducing him. I see a lot of diversity going on in the MCU, but the diversity in the MCU doesn't feel genuine. It feels forced. It's like we we forcing black actors on you. We we forcing LBGTQ actors slash roles on you. We're forcing you know female roles on you to show you. See, we're playing fair. It took us forever to come out with a Black Widow movie, but we're playing fair now, right? Right? This cannot continue, man. United voices are louder voices. Y'all, let's unite and say what we need to say. I mean, they kind of listening, but we need them to acknowledge that they are listening, that they hear us and know we mean biznai. We ain't going to see no Black Panther nothing if it's the heart, hot, steaming garbage heat of a, of a show, of a movie that you're shooting like you're shooting right now. You know, Coogler, Feige, Nate Moore, get it together, fellas. We waiting. I mean, collectively, we are waiting. And, 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 and if you come out with anything less than what we've been asking for, ain't fooling with you. Flat out. Is my comparison off? Is what I'm saying, it doesn't, it doesn't bear any merit? If it does, drop it in the comments. If it don't, drop it in the comments. But remember, the energy you give is the energy you will get back. And as always, comment, like, and subscribe to the Be Real with D-Real page. I will be coming at you, stay at you, on your bumper with this here. And until I do come back with some more, 
Y'all be good. Be good to each other.